Okay, I'm almost done now. Almost done. All right. As Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to... This is the last part of Jeremiah 51. And again, the reason why I mean it is because of how I see things are with the northern Iraq, with the Kurds, and ISIS and stuff like that. To me, Babylon in our time could be Iraq, or it could be Sunni Islam. Take your pick. Uh, symbolic reasons, I'd say it's Sunni Islam. Yeah, but we'll continue here. Okay. As Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. I don't think that means a whole earth. I think it probably means the Haretz, which is um, the Holy Land, the Arabian Peninsula. That's what I think that is talking about here, which sounds nuclear to me. If this is talking about really people being killed, slain and stuff, not just the symbolic, like people getting out of Sunni Islam. And it sounds like uh, all hell break is going to break loose pretty soon over there. That when Oblamer let Iran have $150 billion plus uh, 24, day, 24 days to hide stuff, they got more than just one bomb out of it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, as Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. Ye, ye that have escaped the sword, go away, stand not still, remember the Lord afar off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. So when you see all hell break loose over in the Arabian Peninsula, let Jerusalem come into your mind. We are confounded, because we have heard reproach. Shame hath covered our faces, for strangers have come into the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. <coughs> now that could be history where strangers came into the temple, uh, uh, the Solomon Temple, or it could be in the future where your body, <laughs> if you're a Christian, becomes inhabited by walk-ins at the rapture, so, and your spirit goes up and body remains. That is the possibility. So it sounds like if that's true, then this would go along with the all hell breaking loose and rapture. We don't know. So anyway, I'll continue here. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will do judgment upon the grave, on, upon her graven images, and through all her land the wounded shall groan. And her graven images, that's already happened because thanks to Isis, they went in there and they destroyed the graven images of Babylon. Uh, destroyed uh, those Merodach pieces, the bell and everything, destroyed them. That, so that has been fulfilled. Though Babylon shall mount up to heaven, and though she should fortify the height of her strength, and I think this happened during the first Gulf War, um, Iraq had like a, the fourth largest army, Yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, said the Lord, and we did during the first Gulf War. A sound of cry cometh from Babylon, and a great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans, which is located in Iraq in our time. Because the Lord hath spoken, because the Lord hath spoiled Babylon, and destroyed out of her the great voice. When her waves do roar like great waters, a noise of their voices uttered. Because the spoiler has come upon her, even upon Babylon, and the mighty men have ta are taken. Every one of their bows is broken, for the Lord of God of recompense shall surely requite. Quote, and I'll make her I'll make drunk her prin her princes her princes, and her wise men, and her captains, and her rulers, and the mighty men, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake, saith the Lord, whose name is Lord of Hosts. Thus saith the Lord of Hosts, the broad walls of Babylon like the defenses, shall be utterly broken, and her gate, high gate shall be burned with fire, and the people shall labor in vain, and the folk in the fire, and they shall be weary. Of course, I thought this was fulfilled during the first Gulf War, because there were all these fires, in, in the, in, we were trying to put them out, and we did put them out, but now they're starting up again in Mosul, because Mosul has the fires again, trying to keep the cruise missiles from hitting things, using it as cover. And yeah, in other words, yeah, really, we won that war, but when 
oh, Blamer pulled them out, it's like it was for nothing, because look, now our, uh, Isis is in there. So it really was, if you think about it, it really was all in vain. And it, it, everyone talks about how the first Gulf, how the Gulf War was a mistake. And yeah, apparently God would agree with you here. Um, the word, okay, yeah. The word which Jeremiah the prophet commanded Sariah, the son of Neriah, the son of Messiah, Messiah, when he went to Zedekiah, the king of Judah, into, into Babylon in the fourth year of his reign, and this Sariah was a great prince. So Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that should come upon Babylon, even all these words that are written against Babylon. And Jeremiah said to Sariah, When thou comest to Babylon, and shalt see, thou, and shalt read all these words, then thou shalt say, O Lord, what hast what hast thou spoke? Thou, oh Lord, thou hast spoken against this place to cut it off, that none should remain in it, neither man nor beast, but it shall be totally, that it shall be desolate forever. And it shall be, when thou hast made an end to the reading of this book, eh, that thou shalt bind a stone to it and cast it in the midst of the Euphrates. Thou shalt say, thus shall Babylon sink and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her. And they shall be wary. Thus are the words of Jeremiah. I don't know if Sarai ever did that, but if he did, maybe all this would have taken place a lot. Uh, 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 <laughs> what I'm saying is, if someone did read Jeremiah 15:51 and then bound the stone to it and cast it in your Mr. Euphrates, maybe this wouldn't keep on repeating itself, you know? Who knows? But 